Hey, and thanks for joining me on this edition of the episode. I'm your host, Jason Brown, the co-founder of SERP Woo and the inventor of SERP Tracking. And in today's episode, I'll show you how to drop a backlink on buzzfeed.com. That's B-U-Z-Z-F-E-E-D.com. But before I show you that, I want to go over our sponsor for today, which is SERP Woo. Now, who else would sponsor this? Come on, guys. Uh, listen, when I originally invented SERP Woo, which was the first SERP tracker and also the first ORM reporting tool on the market, I really wanted a tool that was going to help me with my specific keywords, my specific niche, my specific industry when it came to SEO. I was so tired of listening to these talking heads, these industry figures that uh, was just giving me plain, vanilla, generic, rehashed SEO advice. So I really wanted to know what it took to rank uh, within my particular keywords on the front page of Google. And the only way I knew to do that was to monitor those keywords over time. Because at any time you look at Google for the front page, you might falsely believe that the people that are ranking top three, top five, they know what they're doing. But we all know that a spam website can pop into those top positions, that uh, websites routinely pop into top positions for freshness factors and other algorithm updates. And then after a couple of days or a couple of weeks, they vanish and they're gone. And if you would have copied those uh, tactics that those websites were doing, you could find yourself in a very bad place also. So I invented SERP Woo so that I could watch those websites over time for my particular keywords and find out who really had longevity in the SERPs. And then based on that, go back and say, hey, these are the real competitors that really know what they're doing, and I'm going to copy potentially what they're doing and see what they're doing differently that not only ranks them on the front page, but gives them that longevity. And now, flash forward till today, we actually have on-site uh, website tools like Zora that can look at your website and not just the SERPs, but look at your websites and your competitors uh, on those SERPs and tell you, you know, what you're missing in your H1 or H2 tags, what you're missing in your title, how many keywords you need to be to be competitive. Uh, the same thing with image tags. So we've really developed SERP Woo into a full-fledged marketing suite for SEO to help you rank what you need to know what you need to rank for your keywords, your industry, your topic, your niche. Now, before I go further, I do want to let you know any technical problems we have on this episode. I recently switched over to all Mac away from PC. And I got to tell you guys, uh, backups are not only important, but you actually need more than backups because when you switch platforms, all of those settings within like your FTP client, maybe your email client. Listen, if you've got uh, uh, system-wide backups, that's great. But if you ever change over from like Mac to Apple or vice versa, you're going to need those individual software backups as well for all of your settings. Uh, so anybody out there that, that's listening, uh, maybe not many of you change platforms, but if you do, make sure you grab those backups first. So let's go ahead and jump in. Let me change screens. And what you should be looking at is the home page of BuzzFeed. Now, what you're going to want to do is actually go right here to the sign-up link. And you're going to give them typical sign-up information, such as name and email address. You will have to verify this email, so don't use a burner. But once you've actually signed in and verified, this is what your screen is going to look at. Or look like, sorry. And what you're going to do is go to this bell right here. And you're going to go to account settings right here. And this is going to be where you put the URL for your website. Now that's either going to be your home page or a specific page within your website. I use Google five for all of my backlinks. I do find it funny that somebody's bought that domain after I started the series. So go you, whoever you are. And once you've entered in that URL, you want to scroll down here to the bottom. Now, you can't see it because uh, the video of me is in the way, but there's a 
little save changes button behind my face here actually in blue you're just going to hit that save changes button and it's going to let you know that your changes were saved now in order to find this backlink you're going to go back up to the bell hit your profile name and this is going to be your website right here as you can see in the status bar it says google 5 uh, so that link is there. Now I'm going to give you a tip. When I first created this account back in December, I thought this was a website I was never going to showcase on this show because I never got the website to show up. So if you've dropped the link and you've come back to the uh, page here for your profile, your, your, your profile page, um, if this is not showing, that's probably because it's delayed. Maybe something's happened. I don't actually know when this went live. It didn't go live as soon as I dropped it. Uh, that could be different for you. Your mileage may vary, but I did have a delay, uh, and I'm not able to tell you how long that delay was. I just happened to go back through my notes and check on this, and this was here. So this might be a URL that, that you dropped that don't show up for a couple days, maybe a couple weeks, uh, maybe even a couple months. It could show up as soon as you drop it. Whatever you do, go back and check, though, uh, and it should be there just like it is showing for me. But I did want to leave you that tidbit there. And if you're a new link builder, you know, this is just something you can do for your website or for your first client or to test around. If you're an advanced link builder, this is definitely something that can just go back into your chest of tools to help you expand. Uh, but I did want to let you know that uh, you do want to comment you do want to subscribe, you do want to like, because we try to do, or I try to do, these backlink videos every week. So if you want to be the one of the first ones to know about these backlinks and grab them before your competitors do, please subscribe. Uh, liking and comment will let me know that this is the type of content that you want to watch. Uh, so please like and comment if uh, you do like these videos so I can keep making more. And then also subscribe so that you can be one of the first to be notified when these backlink videos drop so that you can get these or add these to your uh, SOPs for your employees or your virtual workers. Uh, but yeah, definitely glad to help you out. I hope you liked it and I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.